it will start with the uh, buyer being involved with the, the agent and having them negotiate the, the, the sale. You will then, as a, the buyer, also seeking uh, quotes. And again, we will assist you um, with one of our, the actual lawyers in our firm providing you with the quote in the 30 minutes or, or hour uh, bracket. Again, you provide us your instructions, we'll open your file, send you the retainer letter, our terms of business, and um, just a form for you to give us consent to start work. After that, we'll begin uh, corresponding with the seller solicitor, and they will provide us with the draft um, papers, which again will include the documents that I mentioned earlier in respect of the, the sale. So again, you know, the, the contract, the title documents, and the forms that the seller would have completed. We will consider those and we will make inquiries. We'll send you those documents so that you also have sight. As, as the transaction goes along, generally, we'll keep you updated so you know what is happening and when it's happening. So you'll receive the draft papers too, and we'll allow you to um, raise any questions you, you wish with us, and we can pass those on to the, the seller's solicitors. So again, you know, we in that little stage for a bit until everybody is satisfied and are ready to proceed to exchange of contracts, which again uh, is where we enter legally binding agreement to sell and to buy. The, um, sorry, prior to exchanging contracts, there are, I mentioned earlier the inquiries that we will raise, um, you know, in terms of building regulations, planning permission and so forth. On a purchase, we will also obtain searches. So there are three main searches. You have the local authority search, you have the drainage and water search, and you have the environmental search. We will consider those, and again, you will also have sight of that, of them. And if there are any issues, uh, any questions, we will raise those with the seller's solicitors. And again, typically they relate to planning, building regulations, um, if there are any issues, for example, if a, con a conservatory or any extension have been built over a drain, we would deal with issues such as those. On a purchase also, the buyers typically obtain a survey um, and they'll use that just to satisfy themselves that the, the building is structurally sound. They'll want to ensure that the electrics, the boiler, all of those are in order. If there are any issues that are then are identified in the survey, uh, in the section that's marked for our attention, we will also raise those with the seller's solicitors. Typically, those are issues that we would have already spotted um, when looking at the other documents, and we would have already raised those inquiries, but we, if we haven't, we will raise those at those point. Or, or if you as the purchaser have any inquiries, then again, we will raise those. And then that's when we do approach um, exchange of contracts. And we, we do that when everyone is satisfied. Now, most of our clients who are purchasing do so with a mortgage. We will receive the mortgage offer from the lender. We'll consider uh, the mortgage offer, and make sure everything is in accordance with the lender's requirements. On occasion, we'll have to liaise with them to uh, query um, some points. Very rarely we have to do that, but on occasions we do. So for example, um, if there's an asbestos issue um, on a leasehold property, and depending on how the landlord or the managing agent are dealing with that, then we may raise those issues with the lender to take a view, okay? And then we approach the completion date. So again, as with a sale, it's when the seller is leaving the property and when the buyer is moving in. So on completion, we would have received the monies from the lender because we would have requested those at exchange. Uh, if there are any balances that are due from you, we'll also receive that. And we would have prepared a statement to send to you um, and so that you know what monies are required from you. 
Um, so we will pay the purchase monies to the seller's solicitors um, and effectively complete. Uh, we'll arrange for you to collect the key. So we'll let you know once we have completed so that you can collect the keys from the agents. On completion, we'll also have to deal with stamp duty. So we will have 14 days after completion to submit the stamp duty land tax return and to make payment of uh, your stamp duty land tax liability. We typically aim to do that on the day of completion and we could, because we must make sure that's done within 14 days. And we would also have prepared the stamp duty land tax return form and sent it to you typically on exchange sometimes before. But the goal would be to make sure we have the form back from you on completion and to make payment to HMRC on that date too. We then go on to register your purchase with the land registry. And once that is done, we will let you have an updated copy of the title showing your name as the owner of the new, so your name as the owner of the property. We will also register your purchase with the landlord if your property is leasehold. Okay. And that's a summary of the purchase transactions.